we're sitting here in the Walmart parking lot. John's truck is over there. He's in there getting some stuff and checking out. We are now leaving Walmart and heading to camp. It's like 20 minutes from here. Turning on to some dirt road here. Well, this is our camping spot. It's really weird. She just doesn't like it when it's dark. <laughs> and it feels like we're just in in the middle of nothing. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, I can clean out my car here. It doesn't seem that dirty. My car right now is looking like a hot mess because I got everything pulled out. Well, not yet. I'm pulling everything out to reorganize it. So this is the disaster that we have now. I will show you what it looks like at the end. All right, as you can see, everything has been cleaned up except for Hudson and the tarp here and is back in the car. So I'll just give you a quick look. This is what we got going on in the back. Bed, battery bank, water, chair, toiletry bag, otter, pillow, uh, cooler, pillows. This is all of the extra storage. We got like paper towels, toilet paper, garbage bags, pop, all my cooking stuff, my table, my solar panel, other stuff back there. On the side, hiking backpack, easily pull it out. Dog food, extra water bottles, propane, sleeping bag. Up front, dog setup, more water. Other side, just my driver's seat, nothing special. Over here, my closet, all my clothes, dog toys, and my dog. And then up top, I'm not even going to show you, that's really all stuff I don't use. That was a full car tour, and me, and this guy, Hudson, come here, this guy over here, that's our home. That's our home. Yep. You like it. I like it. It works. All right, I am making pesto pasta today. So what that includes is everything on this cutting board. Pesto, tomato, peas, Parmesan, asparagus, and pasta. Gonna fill this bad boy up with water, get it boiling, and cut up our vegetables. All right, there, that's on. I'm literally just going to chop all of these up. I don't know how you people chop tomatoes. I don't know the best way to do it. Honestly, I don't even have a particular way to do it. I just sort of go for it. I know people that cook definitely looking at me like I'm crazy. Probably I am. I'll never cut tomatoes. The water's boiling, so gonna dump in some pasta. Alright, we're stirring our pasta. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't made this in a long time and I've only ever made it once and even then someone else was really making it. So, uh, I'm just gonna wing this and I'm gonna throw the peas in with it and then I'm gonna throw the asparagus in with it as well. Dump all those in there. And all right, my timer just went off, so I'm going to test one of the nudes. Honestly, we're going to let that cool for a second so I don't burn the crap out of my mouth. Honestly, just by touch, I think it, yeah. Need a little bit more, not much. Give it a couple more seconds. All right, we don't want to burn ourselves. I understand most of you can strain better than this at home, but I can't. That's what it's looking like. And pesto, honestly, I don't even know how much I'm supposed to use of this. I'm honestly just going to dump some of this in and just do a little, little test. I maybe either just added a ton or barely any at all. I don't really know. 
what the right quantity of pesto is. Let's give this a little taste. How does all this fit in my car, you ask? I feel like I could use a little more pesto. So, I'm gonna. Tomatoes. Okay. Tomatoes are in. I bought enough pesto, I'm just gonna use a tad more. Okay. That's it, that's all the pesto I'm using. I can't even see what I'm doing. It's probably just that's probably a terrible video. Come in our bowl. Scooping it in. And now a healthy amount of parmesan. Alright, there's my bowl. Let's give her give her a taste. It's good. Turned out how I was expecting. 